So I recently had someone ask me to make a video about being lonely. Everyone gets lonely, but it's not permanent. What you do for me, it's the love of God and the presence of God that lets me know I'm not alone. Even by myself, I am not lonely. Now, I like people, don't get me wrong. But if you seek first his presence in your life, uh, that'll help. And if you don't know Jesus and his presence, ask him to make himself real to you. Uh, I can go into that more later, but I'm going to assume that you uh, understand what I'm talking about. So engage with God, prayer. Uh, and ask him to fulfill friendship, that part of your heart. Uh, you're allowed to ask for that. Seek out scriptures that lets you know and affirms that he is close to you, that uh, Jesus is close to, the, close to those who have a broken heart and a contrite spirit. And he, there's other scriptures saying that he is He's closer to us than a brother, meaning, uh, now if I'm getting this wrong, sorry, but I'm going off the top of my head, but he is, is anyhow, you're getting the idea. He's in us and with us, and he fulfills friendship in our lives. Now, people are good and great. So with that being said, community, uh, church is a great place. If you don't have a church, well, go ahead and shop around and ask God to guide you to the right church. And, you know, that's where I'm at right now. I'm making this video in a quiet room. And try to find people that can help you along in your walk with God and that are fun and have common interests. And the Bible does say, if you want friends, show yourself to be friendly. As best you can, get out the house, go socialize, go mingle. Uh, hobbies are good. You know, people uh, get together, you know, when you have a common interest, whether it's boating or fishing or hiking or anything, it doesn't matter. Try to connect with people. What else is there? So, and then just the emotion of loneliness that's where I would say, that's where you let you lean into and say, God, I don't want this feeling. I need to believe there's more. And I need you to help me believe there is more. And that's where his spirit will do quite a bit in comforting us uh, in a very tangible, touchable way. What else is there? Because there's always something that I forget. <clears throat> oh, go help people. Um there's always people in need. Uh, you know, be soup kitchens. My dad used to work at a, he was 90 some and blind, illegally blind. Could still get around, but he went and helped at a place called Second Harvest, uh, Second Harvest Food Bank, where he helped other people and he socialized. And uh, at the time he was Jewish, you know, I'm Jewish too. I came, came to faith 23 years ago, but it was, and he, he was surrounded by Christian folk, and but he liked him. Now, my dad actually came to faith later on. He was sneaking to church when he was in 93, but that's another story for another time. But he liked him, and God used, I'm sure he used those people to minister to my dad. So go uh, minister to others, help those that need help. And uh, that's always pretty cool. What else is there? So um, that's a, just a quick video on how to deal with loneliness. If you have more questions, hit me up. And I uh, hope this help gives you, you know, hope this helps and give your heart to Jesus because he'll give you his and ain't nothing but great. And you're going to like it. And you're going to love it because it's a love relationship. And you're predestined by the will of God to know him. So and it's nothing but fun. So go ahead. Give your heart to God.